attributes in my tree. I double click there and it activates my, my edit Excel data sheet window. And then I say synchronize. And you can see, okay, the value stayed there. And I click OK and you'll, you can see that the, uh, the model is now red. And if you recall um, before, uh, like when we were editing sketches and things turned red, this indicates in digital project that something needs an update. So um, in order to run an update, you need to f locate this, uh, this tool, uh, this tool button here called Update All. Um, it should be, um, I've pulled it out because, because my screen resolution is a little small and it's kind of off, going off the, the side there, but you should see it located somewhere to the, to the right on the bottom of your tool sets. Um, so I'm going to click the Update All. And you see right now um, the door, the door that I changed is is as how it was before, but it's indicating that it's red and it needs an update. So I just run that update, and it's going to go through. It's going to check the the door. It's going to check the the wall. So now the opening the wall has has changed. Um, based on the frame dimensions. Uh, so the opening of the wall is a little bit bigger based on the size of the frame. And then the door itself is, is six feet, eight inches. So you can see right away, you, you, can, you can change, you can go back and forth. You can, you can grab uh, information off your model, but then that information is live and you can go back, change the information in the Excel, and it'll automatically update that information in your model. Um, another example, um, quickly before we wrap up here, uh, is you can create your own Excel data sheets um, just on the fly. Uh, the door schedule data sheet is something that's that's already um, that's already implemented, and there's a script that runs it. But you can also do um, Excel data sheet. Uh, the button up here. So in this case, what I'm going to do is um, I want to change, let's say uh, the floor inside here has gotten uh, higher, and I want to raise this door up so the threshold height is, uh, is higher. Um, but I have to do that to a bunch of doors. Let's just imagine that, there, that all the doors um, uh, need to be changed. So um, I'm going to go and select the, the doors. Uh, in this case, I'm going to hold down the control and select the two um, IFC single swing lining glass geometric sets that um, contain the doors. And I'm going to go up to my Excel data sheet tool here. And it's going to um, it's going to place them right in here uh, on the on the left. Uh, this is where you should see the um, elements that you pre-selected. And then, if you go to under attributes and click report, <clears throat> I'm going to go to doors and windows. And in order to to help me, I'm just going to look here in the tree and see. Okay, so I want to, I want, I want the IFC standard door fill, which is located here, and but I also want uh, an attribute um, uh, parameter from the uh, attribute package here, the door schedule data. So I'm also going to hold down Control and select that also, and now I have all the variables. Um, within those two available here. And the first one I'm going to select is the threshold thickness. And under, under IC standard door fill. And the second one I'm going to select is under door schedule data, the number. So I can know which, which door am, uh, am I editing. So I'm going to click OK. I'm going to hit Apply. 
and it's going to go through and create an Excel data sheet. It's going to show, um, in this case, the, the construction geometric set that I selected originally, the threshold height, and the door designation. So let's say I want to, I want to change these, these, both these doors to three inches. So they're going to, they're going to go up to a three, to be a three inch threshold. So I go back to my window here, I say synchronize, and I click OK, and you can see it, in, it indicates it needs an update. So I go to my update tool, and there you have it. Now that now both this door and the other door have a threshold thickness of three inches. And this is really an advantage when you have a large um, tower project, let's say like the project manager model, and, um, and you have hundreds of doors and hundreds of windows, and all you need to do is load those all into design mode, uh, call them all up in into an Excel data sheet, and change them all at once, and it's and then let the the uh, digital project run that uh, those new values. So I'm going to click save, and this is a good time to uh, to stop and wrap up. Um, I want to uh, to quickly uh, show the uh, the new uh, webinar website that we have up. Um, at GaryTechnologies.com, uh, under events, there's uh, a webinars webpage, and this page has the um, the first webinar, uh, an overview of digital project, with a link to the video, and the second webinar, with also a link to the video, gives a summary of uh, what was covered in this video, uh, downloads to the models that are used in that. I also added, um, just to, to point out to everyone, I also added a navigation cheat sheet. So if I open that up, um, this is uh, just a, a summary of, of how to navigate with the, the mouse. Um, so some, because some people are asking um, for a review of, of the different uh, uh, mouse button clicks. Um, so you can download this PDF, and this gives you print it out. You know, put it next to you, so you uh, you can remember how to uh, how to use the mouse. Um, and again, so this is this is the webinar. Uh, again, you can send any questions to knowledge at gtglobal.com uh, following this webinar. Uh, the GT Wiki, if you're not on yet, um, it's a big advantage to sign on. Uh, if you do that, you can access the, the R4. Uh, documentation. Um, it has really in-depth explanations of a lot of the tools that I've gone over in these webinars so far. Um, and then there's a lot of uh, user uh, community generated information um, located within the wiki. Um, and if you log on, you can add uh, your own wiki articles um, as you discover new advantages to a digital project. Um, we're uh, myself and and a colleague will be uh, in Chicago October 19th through the 21st um, for Acadia. Uh, we're we're offering a, a workshop um, on knowledge patterns and uh, knowledge patterns. Uh, you can see if you go under registration, uh, digital project. Um, there's still uh, there's still some seats available uh, if you're interested or if you're already thinking of coming to Acadia. Um, the, the workshop is basically going to go through how to use uh, smart components um, within digital project uh, to automatically uh, create very complex um, uh, models. There's a little bit of scripting involved, but it's, it's mostly um, uh, automation tools and uh, generative design tools within digital project.